Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Pluto here. Come on, another nigga tut on how to use my motion track templates. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests because people are not uh, understanding how to use them or having issues, problems. So, here I am. First things first, open up the template. And when you get that open up, you should see this. It should be like a blank black screen with the text on it. You can change the text to whatever you want. So you want to change the background, you come up here, it says background, you uh, click on the material, and you come down to where it says texture. All you want to do is click this little arrow, and then go up to clear, then click that same arrow again, go to load image, go to that folder where I have the, uh, where go to the template folder, and go to the map JPEGs, and select the very first one that says 0000, and open that. And when this pops up say no then click on the uh, material right here next to that arrow then go to animation then scroll down to it says calculate click that once and boom there you go you have your map loaded in the back all you have to do is change the, te change the text to whatever you want right here alright now to the render settings you want to go underneath the MoGraph you should have this little play button thing magic with the settings icon make sure your width is 1280 by 720 and come down to frame range make sure this is, is um selected to all frames then go over to save your format save it as jpeg always jpeg oh and uh when you render this make a new folder make a new folder you know just for this render because it will uh render a lot of pictures so you click just three dots, go to your folder and whatnot, and save it. I'm not gonna do it because time of the story. But once you have that done, you want to open up After Effects. And once this opens, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. My After Effects is loaded up. Well, oh sh okay, there you go. All right, so once it's loaded, go up to File, go to Import, then click File again. And then go to the folder where you saved all your JPEGs. Uh, let me find it real quick. Um, this one. Click on the very first one as usual. Then come down. It says JPEG sequence. Make sure that's checked. Okay. And then you should have your uh, your pictures loaded up in this one file. Then just put in a new composition or whatever. And there you go. You have your motion tracked pictures all in one video file. You know what I'm saying? If this helps you out, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Check out my other stuff. I'll be having more tutorials, templates, and edits in the future. This has been Pluto, good nigga. I'm out. Like, bitches. <laughs>